Next section I want to cover for you guys in geometry are special right triangles. The Using these triangles are going to become particularly important um, when we get to trigonometry as these are some, the numbers that we're going to be using here are actually going to be giving us some of our memorized values for the trigonometric functions later. So the two triangles that are, I consider special are 45, 45, 90, and 30, 60, 90. So what we're going to do is we're going to come up with generic formulas that, if, hey, if I've got the one of the legs or the hypotenuse of one of these, I can, instead of having to use the Pythagorean theorem over and over and over again, because these triangles are used frequently, I can come up with just generic rules. So this is a 45, 45, 90 triangle. So the, these two are the same. If these two pieces are one, okay, just the legs are one, my hypotenuse is the square root of 1 squared plus 1 squared, which is the square root of 2. Okay. What that allows me to do is if my leg is any old value, the other leg is going to be the same thing. And then the hypotenuse is just going to be whatever that thing was times the square root of 2. Okay. If instead of giving you the um, leg of that, let's say I gave you the hypotenuse. I'm going to call this h. Well, instead of multiplying by the square root of 2, I would be dividing by the square root of 2. I would be dividing by the square root of 2. But we're not going to end up leaving any square roots of 2s in the bottom of our answers. I'm going to show you when we do some examples what we're actually going to get with those. Okay. So um, this is the formula that your book gives you. x, x, x root 2, or 1, 1, square root of 2. Now, for the 30, 60, 90 triangle, I'm going to start out with an equilateral triangle. where all three of these pieces are the same. So each of these angles is 60 degrees. I'm going to call this each of these pieces two. What I'm going to do is drop an altitude here and cut that triangle in half. And that's what I'm going to get my pieces for my 30, 60, 90 triangle. This is 60. So the other one has to be 30. This is 2. Because this is half, this means each one of these pieces is 1. So what I need to do is come up with that missing leg. Well, that missing leg, I'm going to call it the long leg. So I'm going to call it LL, is the square root of 2 squared minus 1 squared, which is the square root of 4 minus 1, which is the square root of 3. Okay, so the triangle, I'm going to draw it in a different orientation. This one, I'm going to put the 30 degrees. 1, 2, square root of 3. So x, 2x, square root of 3x. So... That's the two triangles that we have. So let's go over to IXL and run through until I get to a 70. Um, it answers simplest radical form. So let me put all up my um, little piece of paper here. Okay. So we have two triangles. Let me just draw them both again. 
1, 1, square root of 2. 1, 2, square root of 3. Okay. This problem here, they gave me the 7, and they want this one over here. We call that K. That's going from the short leg to the long leg. That's going from the 1 to the square root of 3. So I'm going to multiply the 7 times the square root of 3. So my answer is 7. I got to click in the box. 7 root 3. Next one, I'm going to redraw it in one of my orientations. They gave you the hypotenuse, and they want the short leg. To go from the hypotenuse to the short leg, you divide by 2. So 8 divided by 2 is 4. Another 30, 60, 90. They gave you the long leg, which is 6 root 6. And they want the short leg. So go from the long leg to the short leg. That's this root 3 side to the 1. I'm going to divide by the square root of 3. I'm going to take 6 root 6 divided by the square root of 3 is going to give me 6 root 2. So 6 root 2 enter let me jump up a level um they gave you the three here and they want this one over here I'm going to get this one going here by dividing by the square root of 3. Then I'm going to go over here by multiplying by 2. So let's look at this. 3 divided by the square root of 3. We do not like roots in the denominators of our fraction. To get rid of that, you multiply top and bottom by the square root of 3. So it gives me 3 root 3 on the top. Square root of 3 times the square root of 3 is 3. Simplify this further. It's just going to be the square root of 3. I'm going to take this answer and multiply it by 2, and I'm going to get 2 root 3 as my final answer. 2 square root 3. Okay. Next one's at 45, 45, 90. They give me 10 root 2. I want to go to a leg, so I'm going to divide by the square root of 2. 10 root 2 over root 2 is just 10. That's a 70. Let me go to a level 4 question. No picture. It says the hypotenuse is 40 of a 30, 60, 90 triangle. And they want the long leg. They want this one over here. So I always go through the short leg, so I'm going to divide by 2. Then after I get that answer, I'm going to multiply by the square root of 3. 40 divided by 2 is 20. 20 times root 3 is 20 root 3. So that should be enough to get you through um, special right triangles. Um, those numbers... You are going to want to memorize. And that's the 1, 1, square root of 2. Let me get back to the full, just me. 1, 1, square root of 2. And then the 1, 2, square root of 3. Okay. Um, let me talk about that 1, 2, square root of 3. This is 1. This is square root of 3. This is 2. I wrote them in numerical order. This is the short side. This is the long side. This is the hypotenuse. 
So the short side is the one, the hypotenuse is the two, the long leg is the square root of three. Okay, there we go.